What's up, Smashers? It's Trev. It's another awesome day. Tuesday. It's actually cold in here. Check this out. Do you see I have an idea? See Vanessa over there? Yeah. She's got like a winter park on. It's like freezing in here. So it's actually cold outside for California. See, I just I just exposed my thin, wimpy blood right now because I said it's cold and I think it's like 68 outside. But anyway, we're going to be talking about how to improve the pressing outside uh, and overhead. So the big thing with that is, is your shoulder likes rotation. So if we clean up the rotation and the function of the shoulder, and we clear out all the sticky bits underneath, um, your overhead position becomes phenomenal. Now the way it works is, and I'm gonna talk a little quieter because I don't wanna interrupt Vanessa's class, but when you get into this position, your shoulder does not like, this is, good, this is ripe for an impingement. So all of you guys that are doing your press, like I, I think honestly, straight bar presses, should be chucked out the window, but that's just my opinion. Don't have to take it. I'm not your guru. I think single, uh, like dumbbells, kettlebells, all that, much better for the shoulder because it allows for that external rotation all the time because that's how your shoulder's designed. It's designed to come in like this. It's designed to rotate and come all the way up like that. This rotation, just try it. If you can take your shoulder and do this, those behind the neck presses, just hijacking your movement. So your press should have some rotation in it clean up that joint and that rotation becomes really easy. You get that roll, that slide, that glide in that, uh, that um, glenohumeral joint, right? Super important. But you can't do that when the lat, the teres, the subscap, the pec, all this stuff is super bound up and then that joint capsule is all thick and leathery and it doesn't do what it's supposed to do. So remember, we can wind up into that rotation, right? Super important. Or we can roll like this. So either way is, is fine with me. I just want that rotation and that movement. So we're gonna work on that rotation. It's like when you're doing a, uh, a snatch, right? You wanna really, really work on rotating, and I'm, I'm trying to talk quiet so I don't interrupt the <laughs> young super turbocharged CrossFitter walking out with a box. She's not stealing it, trust me, she's using it for a workout. But what we're doing is we're gonna work on the rotation of the shoulder, and then we're gonna restore that pressing movement uh, overhead. So whether it's internal, external, that's fine, I just want you to be able to rotate. I'm gonna move my bench because I'm interrupting every CrossFitter today, and uh, I might even have to come over there and help that crossfitter. So I'm gonna take a break from the video and I'm gonna help this young lady. I'm gonna keep on talking. So I'm still here and we're gonna pull it. See, not just making videos, helping CrossFitters. That's what we do. That's why this, see, look at that. That's why this community is so awesome is we help each other. So we're going to fix the pressing overhead by ungluing all the tissue. And then I'm going to show you three drills to increase your pressing strength overhead to help make that a much more stable, stable position. Because what do we want to do? Make your shoulders indestructible. It's just that simple. So check this out. We're going to peel away all kinds of stuff and we're going to restore that external rotation because if you're missing a lot of that external rotation if you're missing that rotation to be able to externally rotate the arm like i was saying um you're not going to be able to get your shoulder in a really good position so let's fix that first um so number one is we're going to do something super simple it's called the glassman prayer you guys know this one so i'm going to bring this a little closer just so i don't dive off the film film like there's film in an iphone Right, so all we're gonna do is we're gonna wrap up in here with a band. And all I'm gonna do, yeah, see, I gotta change that. That camera angle just blows. We're gonna come all the way out like that. Check this out. We're gonna stick in like this, like Charlie's Angels. This is gonna load up the shoulder with uh, axial distraction, right? So we're gonna pull it away, and all I'm gonna do is lock out the elbows, elbows super tight. You're just gonna take your body, shove it all the way through. So I'm taking my torso, you can see my head's under here, you know, right, like a boo right? I'm under here, don't laugh at my jokes, they're terrible. But all this is gonna do is unglue the lat, the teres, the, uh, the subscap, the pec, all that stuff, even the serratus is being loaded up. It still stuffs up your nose because it's so awful. How long do we stay like that? Two minutes, so load it up, let it drag you all the way in like this, hang out like this for how long? Two minutes, that's number one. Number two, you're gonna grab a band. We're gonna turn this bench this way. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna triple up the band. Check this out. 
epoxy, the most awesome, versatile tool on earth. Simple piece of PVC pipe. So right there, good. And all we're gonna do is we're gonna come up like this. So I'm on the bench, we're gonna turn our hands. I'm so OCD, we gotta keep this even. And then we're just, I really don't wanna do this, this isn't gonna hurt. So, remember what I said. Band is between the elbows, right? We're wrapping the elbows to keep them tight, close together as possible. You're gonna turn the PVC pipe this way. You can use a broom handle, anything. And then all we're gonna do is we're gonna oh, straighten it out. That's gonna force that external rotation. Wait, it gets more fun. And then we're just gonna shove our torso down all the way inside. Hang out like that until you bring up a leather boot because it's that awful. So two minutes if you can. That is number two for the mobility drills. And then, now we get into stabilizing that shoulder in an overhead position. So, I'm gonna move this just like that. So you can see me? Yeah, you can, check that out. You're just gonna stand on a band. Take the band, I'm inside here, super tall. Load up the band first, if the band is too much, don't graduate to kettlebells. And then you're just gonna press up, and then come back down. So you notice, I'm rotating that humerus, and I'm rotating the uh, radius as well. So it's keeping my arm from kicking way out like this. So all the way up, all the way down. I'm a three set by 10 kind of guy. So three by 10 each side. If that's super easy, graduate to a kettlebell. I'm gonna kick this down just like this so I don't look completely ridiculous. And you're gonna take the kettlebell, kick it over to the back. So, yeah, see? And then I have to move the camera anyway. There we go. So, I don't have a knee, I don't have anything under my knee, so it's killing me right now. So I'll turn this way just so you can see. So I'm braced out like this. I'm basically in, um, I'm in a kneeling position in a lunge. I'm gonna take the kettlebell, it's gonna rest on the back of the arm, and I'm just gonna press all the way up. All right? So let me come like this, just so you can see what I'm doing. Kettlebell's on the back of the wrist. This is like level two, okay? From level one with the band, level two is this one and I'm just gonna press up there and then down. Again, three by 10, that's it. Now, if that's really easy, take the kettlebell, flip it upside down. This is funky, let's chalk up the hands. I don't have chalk on my hands, so we'll be careful on this one. There, one, two, that's all we're gonna do, okay? Again, three by 10. Those are your level one, two, and three for stabilizing your shoulders. Make sure you get full lockout up top. Unglue all that tissue, get those shoulders working, stabilize the scapula, and boom, you get your pressing motion back the way it's supposed to be. Hey, I'm Trev, Smashworks, interrupting a CrossFit class, having fun. Hey, I'll check you guys tomorrow. Have an awesome day.